All right, we're going to take a look at the uh, the feature where you identify magnetic polarity. It's a feature I didn't really realize this had. I've had this particular model close to 10 years. I never really knew it had it because I never really used it. Uh, but you slide this, this ring on. That LED stops. You slide it on a little bit more. lights up again. And you just keep going until it stops again. Okay, now it stopped. That white tip is facing this way, which I believe will identify north. Is that what the paperwork said? Do you recall? Alright, we'll take a look at the paperwork and find out. But we've got a compass right here, so we're about to find out anyway. Uh, we got a hydraulic elevator solenoid here. So if we hit this little button over here, it's hooked up to 50 volts. We can see our compass move. Okay, so that points to a north pole, so we know this is electrically north, this is electrically south. So, let's see what we get. Okay, I'm getting nothing. So I come over here, hit this. Okay, so the white dot points to the south pole. Let's go ahead and flip it the other way and just see if the opposite is true. Alright, I'm going to slide it on until it goes off again. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, so, and then it should not detect this way, and it doesn't. So right now, it becomes a polarity checker. And when that white dot faces the base, then you know you're detecting a north pole. If you flip that magnet, it's detecting a south pole. If that's a feature you used a lot, you would probably remember it. If not, you could actually write it on here. I never really used that feature of this. Um, I have a, a little stick magnet polarity checker. Um, and then we're actually about to build another one with some uh, with some scrap parts laying around. Uh, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that it's there. Should you ever need it. I typically, all I use it for is to detect if a relay or a coil is up. And that's just helpful if you've got an elevator with 100 relays or a lot of coils it's just really helpful uh, the coil of the old standby trick is to put a screwdriver you know next to it but um, when you have a lot of relays you can't really do that trick and certain coils you can't that doesn't work as well and this mag probe comes in handy